switch, you're so efficient, so good. <laughs> My goodness. Um, hmm. Where did I put my phone? Oh, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, everybody. Hold your butts. Hold your butts. Let me get me some coffee. Sorry for the squeaky chair. Someday I'll have a great studio and I'll get to teach. That's actually what I want to do, is be able to teach. But first I gotta learn. <laughs> uh, I was learning oils for a bit and now I'm learning watercolor. Okay, stop talking. Let's get this ready. Alright, let me just switch. Got off work, and if I watch a stream, I'm gonna get hooked, and I won't do a stream. Just like yesterday, I watch, watched Potch's <laughs> stream all day. But I paint. I did paint. I was productive. I painted oil. <laughs> Worked on my painting, and then I'm taking a break again, doing watercolor. I'm gonna go back and forth because I don't want to get burnt out. A little at a time, a little at a time. So now I'm just, uh, I could leave it here, but I need room. Cause this little pretty birdie has some hot pinks going on and I need some room, but I can use these actually, these blues. And I kind of wish my browns were closer to my blues. And I actually wanted to add lamp black on this. But then after a while you just have too many colors. I already have, I think, about 20, 21, maybe 22 colors on this palette. I don't know. Oh, if you guys want to know what the colors are, let me see if I can remember what the colors are. <laughs> Let's see. So this one, we'll start here. Well, let's start with the yellows. So this is Windsor Yellow. These are all Windsor Newton uh, professional watercolor paint. So this is Windsor Yellow. No, actually I think this is Windsor Yellow and then this is Windsor Lemon, I'm pretty sure. And then Yellow Ochre, Transparent Orange, Burnt Sienna, I want to say Scarlet, <laughs> but it says Scarlet Lake. That's supposed to be an S. So Scarlet Lake, um, Permanent Crimson for this one. <laughs> I'll have to look this one up. And then this one's Permanent Rose. This is Opera Rose. This is Cobalt Violet. This is Quinn. This is actually a Daniel Smith color. Quinacridone purple, I want to say. And then this one. This is a Holbein color. I'm pretty sure. Bright violet. I'm pretty sure. And then uh, back again to Windsor Newton. This is uh, Dave, Davies Gray. And then Payne's Gray which is like a dark blue. Hey, how are you doing? Hello! Yes, another bird. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? You're always online. <laughs> um, let's see. And then, okay, so Payne's Gray and then uh, French Ultramarine right here. Cobalt Blue next to that. Phthalo blue, uh, hmm. turquoise, cobalt turquoise, this one, and then phthalo green, and then sap green, and then olive, olive green, yes, 
Yes, olive green. Okay. I'm gonna use that. That's a lot. <laughs> and I wanna add black, uh, lamp black, because lamp black, lamp black <laughs> has uh, qualities to it where if you when you wet the paper, it spreads. So I haven't played with that yet. I bought some, so I wanna play with it eventually. Today we're gonna paint this guy, and he looks like this. Uh, pretty cute, cute little baby, teeny tiny. So it should be easy. But today I want to try something different, and I wanna. I don't know. I'm thinking about. I want to do something different with the background, or play with it, or something. So... Yeah, like, let the color bleed. We'll see. We'll see if it turns out. Oh, I'm getting trapped. I'm so uh, crowded in my office. Oh, that's not the correct brush case. I want to wet the paper and then play with the, the paint, but just wet it a little at a time. And I want to play with, I don't know, I have so many brushes, I don't know what to play with. as closely as I can so and I want to try it that's actually what attracted me to uh, Louise de Massey is uh, she does that stuff and from the last video that I saw on YouTube she she wet the paper so I'm just gonna wet you know this area because this is all gray I should probably have a plan before I do this, but I don't. <laughs> and what should I do? I'm just gonna play. So this is gray, and I'm wondering if. Oh, you know what? I can clean my palette. Just let this bleed. It's, is it moving? Ar I know Arches paper works better for stuff like this. I want it to, you know, just this is just background color. So it's going to be really light. up didn't I? I did. Because I was supposed to only put the color where the paper is wet. Because otherwise it makes these hard lines. So I'm just gonna wet those areas and hopefully they don't get too harsh. Alright. No 
want some variance. That might be too blue. That's okay. We're just gonna play. That's the whole point, right? Enjoying the sketchbook. I want some greens. Okay. I'm gonna leave the chest. It's probably okay to do the feet. I took out that mop brush, but... olive green and some yellow ochre just to make it not so bright actually set in a, a place that has foliage. <laughs> I hope everything sounds okay, like the sound and my voice is not too loud, hopefully. That's how you learn. You just start playing. Just messing with stuff. <laughs> so I put a few drops of just water and that kind of disturbs the paint when it's kind of, it, it was drying and it wasn't, it was still, it still had a sheen on it. And then I dropped water and it moved it around. I just want, you know, Predictable things going on, and uh, watercolor is really good for that. Pretty. <laughs> oh, I should probably. I should have my um. What do you call those? Dryer things. It's buried. Oh, my studio. I think the more I paint, the more I stream, the more I'll know which equipment I'll need. Hey Z! <laughs> Improving dinner? <laughs> ah. What are you having for dinner? See, you can even tilt. Ooh! The water kind of followed the curve of the bird. Ah, 
see my paper's all warping. <laughs> As if blowing on it. Oh, not sure yet? Pizza is my go-to. <laughs> Pizza, Mexican. Time, I actually make pizza from scratch. I have, you know, the flat, the dough, let it rise, and all that. It's actually so easy. <laughs> Super easy. But you have to have the ingredients. See, now what do I do? I'm sitting here waiting, and it's, you know, for it to dry. Hmm, hmm, what to do? should have made the background darker but we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it like this I don't like that dot oh. <laughs> it didn't go away nope it's not gonna go away I, there's some spots that I missed that stayed dry about like if I put down the color and then it was this kind of sheen you know not not water pool but a sheen that's when you drop clear water and then it does these what's happening now these cool random lines everywhere and different paper, the paint behaves different too. You kind of have to get to know the paint and the paper. Ah, uh, I already have dust and dirt on it. Not dirt, but dust. And see the tiny hairs. All right, all good. This is kind of a cool brush because at the other end it's silver tipped and you can use it to draw with or sketch with. dry 
enough to start on this end. Gonna, my goal today is to not move this so much like the last one. I'm gonna try to leave it alone. to get started on my stream before Potch, <laughs> Potch did because I'll get sucked into the stream, <laughs> his stream, and I'll just hang out. But I must, I must stream and practice art. And I was, I was being good, even though I was on his stream, I was being good. I was uh, working on my oil painting. So all I did was make it just a slightly different color, just to distinguish it from the other feather, and I'm hoping that works. Man, it's hard to paint without being able to move this around. For me, I'm not used to it. I'm used to being spoiled, <laughs> just moving it any which way I want. I can't see. But it's looking okay. Hmm. I see where it turns into this very pretty color here. It stays pretty light. Pretty light.
so down here it's very very light I have to consider how to do that Someday I'll have a camera that'll be able to zoom in and see um, how the brush is used to pick up the water if you put down too much water. Because it's, it's part of the process and it's hard to show that, you know, from this distance what you're doing. So I just added some color, but it's a little too wet for me. So. All I'm doing is taking away all the liquid from this brush, using it as a straw. <laughs> and I just tap where I want that water picked up. And it's hard to show that from this distance, <laughs> your distance from the camera. So my plan, in order to show how light it is in the bum area, you know, see how light that is, is to paint the background darker to show up, to make that uh, very light color show up. At least that's the plan. We'll see if it works later. <laughs> so now... Mm -mm -mm. This beautiful rosy pink color right here. So I want room. Oh, I already threw away the, the thing I used. Maybe I can just sweep. Sweep out of the way. Kinda. That doesn't really work. That's okay. Just gonna dive right in. This is Opera Rose. Very bright pink. Permanent rose. It's kind of that color. So through here, that's the color of this very pretty, pretty bird. For me to show some texture. Oh, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully be able to cover uh, this color. Going the other way, like the, the gray to cover that color, hopefully.
gram paints also. It's a little too red. I think it's red right here. And M gram uh, wets right away because it's uh, honey based. And Windsor Newton and um, Daniel Smith are not, so they're harder to re wet, but that allows for more control. But I'm impatient. <laughs> I just want I want to color. I just want to color it. I'm just trying to that I drew are dark so I don't like that I'm not going to be able to cover okay I'm really going to try not to rotate the picture <laughs> it's hard when, it, when I'm used to getting in there in the details and rotating it and, but we'll try not to Paper's still wet. <laughs> so cute. This bird's so cute. When it's drier, I'll try to put a, a sharper line. Because right now it's all not.
rest of it's more blue. Like his hair is actually way more blue. Like a gray blue. With pink highlights. line wasn't there, this would have been cool. Oh, I know. I could try. Hmm. Something to think about. I could try it. I was thinking of doing It fails, it's a sketchbook. I really like all this. But he has a highlight. Oh! <laughs> I just wrote on it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Normally, you should be able to remove that. Normally. to actually turn the pictures that I've taken um, of my rhododendrons outside. They're not mine. It's not like I planted them. They're 60 years old. <laughs> They're older than me. <laughs> how when you put down oh you can't even see hardly never mind
questioning all my decisions right now. <laughs> all my life decisions. Tweezers. Okay, how, how in the world am I gonna get pink up in here? Yeah, watercolor really lays down light with each layer. Like, you put it down and you think, oh, it's too dark. Nope. <laughs> it dries and it's really light. Ugly duckling stage. It's gonna be okay. I like changing the color just slightly here and there, just to cause interest. 
when you're looking at it, that it's not all just flat. drawn in a not the same angle <laughs> I can tell or it might be the way I'm painting it you know it's not coming out looking like the same angle tells you the species. You're doing a good jazz job of just going with it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just winging it. Too much water, perhaps. It's not like crazy red. Just highlights, pink highlights. It's pretty. It might be a little much, but it's fun. <laughs> Give me pink hair. not to um, have such symmetrical lines Ugh, and I don't have I have smaller brushes I'm too lazy <laughs> it's supposed to be a loose painting <laughs> hey Oracle look at that almost at 20 followers already yeah thank you <laughs> Follow you guys. Hold on. Where are you? Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Started playing. Oh, wouldn't that be crazy if I accidentally closed a stream? <laughs> closed the wrong window on my computer. <laughs> I wish there was an easy way to just click on a name and then click follow. Ah, oh, rude. Why? Twitch. Make it easy. I think I'm following the rest of you guys. As far as color 
goes, there's pink there. I can zoom in, but I could probably bring this up. Ah, ah. I don't know if you can see. Eh. I could, ah. See, someday, someday I'll be able to zoom and all that stuff. It'll be great. I have plans. I don't even know what kind of camera to get to have a nice zoom and stuff. Uh, this needs to dry so I can make sharp lines. Okay. I'm gonna try to make a really dark black for the eye. And how I usually make a black is with, um, oh, my mic's way over there. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I should have probably fixed this before I started. <laughs> That's good enough, right? That That's probably better. Well, I can't say I'm pro yet anyway. I'm not a pro streamer, I'm just a streamer. <laughs> Whee! Okay, that's brown. So that's gray. Basically, less water or thicker paint will create the black. But I put too much water. It's kind of black. What size is this? Four. That's pretty big. Pretty big. Well, even if I put down a layer that's really dark, watercolor, it'll still lighten. You just keep putting down layers of it. I should probably have a smaller brush for this. Hold, please. What I'm gonna do is take away water from the brush itself. Took a lot of pigment. Oh well. It's basically like using a marker. I don't want to be like all <laughs> my head in the thing. <laughs> that would be unprofessional. So cute! A cute bird. Adorable. So cute! So cute! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so chop, 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 chop. I feel like ah, oh. the more okay, the more I paint, the better I'll get with what I'm doing. I kind of, I feel like I. Um, not pay attention to what I'm doing and I go on autopilot and I dip in there and I put too much water but if you paint all the time you'll remember <laughs> what not to do <laughs> oh, that's so red I want it 
pink. So I'm noticing that on this side it's more like an orangey co color. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going with it, you know. <laughs> I should probably use a thinner brush, but it's okay. Maybe a little bit of this. Sure, yeah, that works. bit more grayed. Hmm. <laughs> How do I gray? Well, if I take a lot of pink, just a little bit <laughs> of gray, it mutes it down and that's working. That works. It's like a muted pink because it's in shadow. Now I have a reference photo to follow, so that helps. Is that, is that right? I think that's right. We'll see. Then it'll dry, and then you adjust, and you paint, you know? Always a work in progress. brighter pink or not bright more saturated not bright but more color something like that I really wanted to do uh, like more accurate and textured it would be a smaller brush for sure but this is this is a good study what was it I think it was a couple days ago I hadn't painted watercolor in a bit I don't even remember, remember the last time Maybe a year, yeah, six months, a year, something like that. And I feel like I've forgotten everything, but it's working out, it's okay. try. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I want to <laughs> I 
rotate this so bad like this I think it'll be okay can you handle it you can handle it so if you want to highlight an area uh, it's called negative painting so I'm just highlighting like a clump of feathers right there so you put a dark color down you just with a wet brush soften the edge and hope for the best <laughs> yeah if I put in more of things like that it'll make sense it's cute So it looks like there's a shadow, if you can see that. I don't even know if you can see that. I can barely see it. So, right there, that area. Okay. So around the eye, it's not bright white. So I'm gonna tone this down, because <laughs> it's a little too bright. Still a bit bright, but that's okay. Hmm, danger. No, don't do that. Because <laughs> if I put pigment on that, it's just going to go right into that light color and take it away. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. I would like to darken around here. I'm just going to... dark in there. Ah, that looks so gray. I want more blue. More blue. Hopefully that's... Something like that. bird is not normally this colorful. <laughs> it's okay. It's my bird. It's 
my pretty bird. some pretty boy or girl I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it is it's probably the male I would assume I just like totally forgot to color in this part. It's a whole section that's not matching what it's it's supposed to all be the same, similar, not the same, but similar texture. So I should have been painting this area also. And I wasn't. But we'll see. That's uh, part of the, the whole thing is learning how to fix make it work basically learning how to make it all work He's so, <laughs> he's so busy, like the head has so many colors going on. <laughs> uh, I just think it's pretty, it's prettier. <laughs> I don't know, I think uh, quote unquote mistakes actually adds character to a painting or any work. And it kind of adds a story for the artist anyway. I don't know, it's just, I just, it's really cool. I just like it. Oh, it's pretty. I don't think I would make it as a, what do you call those, um, arbor, like a reference book painter. I don't think, I, can, I don't think I could do it because <laughs> I'd be, oh, it'd be prettier with a little bit of flair here. <laughs> This is not a bad uh, paper to practice to play. It's really play. Because if you want to actually practice on the paper that you're going to use for, um, you know, 
final work, you would need to practice on that paper because they behave different. This is a B watercolor sketchbook or journal, watercolor journal. And I'm sh pretty sure this one is the 100% cotton. Um, that's what the label had said because I don't, I try to stay away from pulp because uh, not that it's bad, I just want to learn on a specific kind of paper. Because I don't have time to learn everything on everything. <laughs> I just want to learn what I want, you know? We don't got time. No, I, that's not true. You got all the time. You got all the time. I just think cotton paper is fancy, okay? <laughs> It's, for me, it's way funner because the, um, the paints, they spray and then they, they just act different. And I like it. It's so pretty. No, this isn't, this is not close to the <laughs> real thing. <laughs> close enough. I'm hoping that these lines will kind of suggest to the eye that there's feathers in certain directions that it's doing. Okay, so down here it's more brown. Ooh, feathers, they take so long. the brown so my goal is to try to make it vary just so it's not so boring not so flat color at least that's the goal <laughs> Let's see how this goes how to attack mm, I think I want two one that's just water not too wet. Ooh, where did that get that? What? Where is it getting the color? Oh, that's from yesterday. <laughs> it's like stuck on the ferrule. Look, look at that. Okay, should be okay enough. Wow. What did I do? Okay. So that's just water on this one. It might be too dry now. Dang it. <laughs> you don't want it too dry. You don't want it too wet. Just enough. Okay. So here's my color one, right? And what do I want? I want the highlight. 
I can't even tell. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the color at the bottom of each one. Ah, it's too wet. The hope is that the, the part that I put water on, it just uh, gradiates. Gradients? Gradient, you know, like it's dark on one side and then lighter on the other. This might be too. You can, it's, it's kind of working. Some papers handle this better than others. <laughs> kinda. Just kinda. I need smaller, I, I feel like I need smaller brushes, but we're gonna make this work. I should probably switch brushes. <laughs> She has a great channel. She has a Patreon. And I think she's adorable. I love her. Her name is Louise DeMassi. She has a YouTube channel and she's a sweetheart. <laughs> Just like my grandma. She's adorable. Now she's looking like lines. So on that one, I put the water first, and then I put down... Yeah, it just... It's not turning out the way I like. Eh, good enough.
it's just a little too long. that were drawn uh, are not, not correct, but it's okay. I'll we'll make it work. <laughs> I can't complain. I didn't do it the drawing. <laughs> I can't complain. I could have done it myself, right? But no. I just wanna I just wanna color now. <laughs> I just want to color. I just want to play now. Alright. These are gray. Brownie. Brownie gray. A warm gray. Is that pink? Make it schnazzy. hard to see. I 
it's safe to do. Can you see that? Let's go more blue. Oh, I put, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yep, do over. I put a uh, color in the brush that I was using for just water. Probably people are like you're doing it wrong. Maybe, <laughs> probably. It's all good.
I keep moving it. Hold on. Let's see here. There. Hopefully that's better. And maybe... Maybe? That's pretty good. Hi! Nice bird. Thanks! I do it all wrong as a matter of principle. <laughs> It's good to do it wrong once in a while, you know? That's how you discover things, I think. <laughs> uh, oh great, now I forgot what I put on my brush. <laughs> like, what color am I working with? Oh, there's a feather back here. Okay, brown-ish. <laughs> because it's so uh, simplified but at the same time it like I don't know I get aggravated too because it's not accurate <laughs> you know but it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be simplified and uh, uh, that's why I like her style it's so different from uh, Anna Mason and I like both of them This part, but I can't. I can't make it any darker. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's gonna all work out. Calm down. <laughs> Should have probably used a smaller brush <laughs> again. <laughs> oh well. I like that I'm doing a bird and there's bird sounds. <laughs> oh, this is not sharp enough. There's too much water on my brush. And I I should stop. We're, we're gonna power through it. <laughs> Look at that. This is loaded with water. I don't know if you can see that. It'll uh, cool down in a bit here. Alright, and then I want to darken the beak, but it's a little bit more brown. So, I'll just brown it up a little bit. soak in that first and then so that hopefully less pigment will go there less pigment will go to that area of the beak I'm hoping that's pretty dark Watercolor dries light. Ah, it's already scaring me.
Leave it alone. I can't. We'll fix it. <laughs> if I mess it up, we'll fix it. I don't know. <laughs> not making sharp lines. The paper's so bumpy. Ugh, it's so symmetrical. Stop touching it. Stop touching it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop touching it. I mean, just over there. Okay. Okay. That the eye and the reference is way bigger. All I did was try to add a little bit more orange to the brown I already had because I feel like in the reference there's a color change. Here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you probably can't. I'll take a photo, of course. And then put it on the Instagram. And then this inside leg is actually more orange, or yeah, than the outside, or it's the inside of the leg. That's what I meant.
even the claws. I just want a different color for the claws, just so my eye can differentiate between not that it's that big of a difference. I just added pink to it and it did make a difference. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. So what I'm doing is getting water, putting it on paper, it sucks up a uh, paper. This is uh, linen, flower linen. I'm trying to roll it so that it makes a point, but it's not working. Hmm. Oh well, I've waited way too long. It's not gonna move. Oh, I might. Try it on this paper. We got cat hair. Okay. Pointier, but it's not really doing what I want. Yeah, good enough. do is a branch. What color would the branch be? I want a silvery branch. Bluish silvery branch. And that'll, uh, because the feet is so orange on the orange side, that maybe, since they're opposites, it'll pop. <laughs> maybe. It's a little too blue. I need more of a gray. And I want, you know, more than just one color for the branch. So I'm just gonna lay down this color, and then we're gonna go back with a different color, like a brownish, and see how it goes. so dark. Uh, it's as bright as it's gonna get. So I just grabbed a random color in my palette that I've been working on already, with, working with. Touch the feet.
nice. <laughs> Come on. Sure. Leave it. Leave it alone. Although it should be more shadow where the bird is, right? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> Something like that. Maybe that'll work. It's hard to see. There's some shadow. The reference photo has the bird on a wire. So this is all, it's all made up. leave it like that. Pretty. It's so dark. Now it's all blending together. <laughs> Something like that. That's pretty. Although my bird doesn't look very soft. It's pretty.
practice. Does that look good? <laughs> good enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go with that. I think. Maybe tone this part down. smaller brushes I may have been able to get this less chunky <laughs> but it works out not bad not bad hmm oh, cool I wonder I don't know I might stream later but ah, probably not I really need to work on my oil painting, to be honest. <laughs> I started on the feathers. Uh, I'm almost finished with the face. Started with the feathers. Um, I'm just basically shaping them generally. Because the only thing I want realistic and uh, sharp is the face. And the rest, the rest is good, decent. I mean, I want it not, not super accurate. Okay. All right. Well, thanks guys for hanging out. Thank you for hanging out and seeing this bird. Actually, I should take a picture and I'll show you guys I think I have to stand up to take a picture <laughs> my creaky chair <laughs> uh, I have like a dining room chair <laughs> uh, is that good? I wonder if I turn on this light no difference. <laughs> hmm. Okay. My mic is right there. Is that? Oh. Okay. I think I got it. so dark. I think my room is too dark. Ooh. I 
I'll get better. <laughs> Do you like the burn? I don't know. I made it way too dark, I think. That's okay. Calm down. <laughs> it's alright. I had fun doing it. I'm still trying to take a picture. Come on, phone. <laughs> You're not helping. Maybe if I made the background darker, but then leave it alone. And okay, that looks fine. I'm gonna put it up. Wait, wait, not that way. I need to go. Okay, you guys have any suggestions on who to raid? <laughs> distracting. I'm too... Ah, oh, gotta stop judging. <laughs> oh, adorable. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, back to... <laughs> Not a lot of artists I know streaming right now. Okay, so let me see if I know anybody. Right. Where's everybody? I got no one. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Where do we go? I don't know this person. But she's doing skulls. Yeah, there's nobody here. Where did everybody go? Wasn't Potch supposed to stream? I just want to raid just to practice raiding. Maybe this person's okay. Jamie Koala? She says skulls. Skulls anyone? You want to go there? She 
doesn't know me. I don't know her. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> Oh, look at that timing. <laughs> Battery new. Okay, well, I need to switch anyway. Okay, we'll try, we'll try, we'll see what she does and says. Jamie Koala. Okay. Jamie. Let it be awkward, totally. <laughs> Why not? Chat it right, yeah. Woohoo! We'll see. Okay, we're gonna read in three, two, one. Whee! 